it ain't cheap, I'm not buying it. Hi everyone and welcome back to If It Ain't Cheap, I'm Not Buying It. About two years ago, I did a refresh of my bookcase. It was originally the brown color, you know, the standard brown that you buy at the store. And I refreshed it with the uh, gray chalk paint. And now that I've moved, um, I have room. Now I am going to try to refurbish and refinish this bookcase. I have been waiting almost two years to do it. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. It took me probably about a week and a half, you know, running back and forth to Lowe's, getting measurements for the glass, and just trying to find materials to uh, finish the bookcase. Um, I started off with buying Dollar Tree picture frames, um, which I did uh, delete from the video and I did not like the way that that came out so I had to take all that off and as you can see this is a before um, picture there's no lumps or bumps by me putting the Dollar Tree frames as a border around it I was using the double-sided tape and you will see further in the video as I am doing the DIY I did use a sander to try to sand down that double uh, tape. So I do have some lumps and bumps. So I went to Lowe's and um, I took the door off. Well, the door was already coming off, I guess by us moving, it broke on the side. So I took the door to make sure that the measurements were going to be exact for the mirror. And I got a nice piece of glass, total of about $16. Remember, if you're military, they give you 10% off. And the guy cut the glass down for me, as you can see right here. Um, and all I did was use liquid nails and glued it um, to the panels. Right here, you see me putting in the panels. They had dried overnight. And I tell you, just with the glass in, it really made a huge difference. I went to Walmart and I found this a H HVAC aluminum foil tape and it gives you like that uh, mirror reflectant tape and it was uh, $10 and some change. So this is my first doing this type of project. I was kind of leery about the HVAC tape. Uh, and right here, you see me trying to get it aligned and smoothing it out. And I was getting nervous because of all the wrinkles. But I pushed through and uh, got it all on there. And I forgot that I had my putty knife. So I said, well, I'm going to get it all put on. And then at the end, I'm going to take the putty knife and just go run it, you know, across it. And that got all the air bubbles out. So please make sure that you have... Uh, a putty knife on.
So after I got all the tape up on the cabinet, I took a plastic uh, squeegee or a putty knife and I just went over it to get all the air bubbles out and it smoothed the surface uh, to give it, you know, a very uh, clean look. $350 for this and here is the new upgraded look. enjoyed this video let me know your lovely uh thoughts down in the comment section and as i always say child if it ain't cheap i'm not buying it i'll see y'all on another fabulous diy stay blessed